we finally had our Instagram page. Do follow us on IG for more Flutter updates. Are you still using Set State Everywhere in your Flutter apps? It might be time to rethink that. Because there's a better, cleaner, and more scalable way to manage state in Flutter. Today, I will show you exactly what you should be using instead to write cleaner, more maintainable code. Let's jump in. Here is a typical example. You have a button, and when you tap it, you call setState to update a boolean value. This boolean value used to control some widget display. It works well, but what happens when your app grows bigger? Your widgets become bloated. It's harder to track changes and testing becomes a nightmare. Set state is fine for tiny apps or one-off widgets, but it's not scalable for medium or large projects. It forces your user interface to rebuild even when only part of the data change, and most importantly, to use set state, you are required to create stateful widget. For more comprehensive comparison between stateful and stateless widget, you can check out to our stateless versus stateful widget tutorial. So what you should use instead? Flutter community has given the answer, which is provider. Provider is one of the most popular state management as of today because of its simplicity, performance, and scalability. Now I will show you step-by-step step on refactoring this set state code into provider. Firstly, we need to create a provider class that extends change notifier. Inside this class is where we define state and actions that manipulate the state. In this code example, I will create an isloading boolean, a get method to retrieve the boolean value, and also a toggle method that update the boolean value. After the value update, make sure to execute notify listener method. This method will trigger the state change. Now, because we are using provider, we can use stateless widget which provides better performance compared to stateful widget. Next, to retrieve the isloading value, we need to watch the provider instance using context.watch method. Now, in the parent widget, Wrap the child widget with change notifier provider widget. And in the create parameter is where we initialize the loading provider so that the children widget can easily access the provider instance just by using context.watch. Now we have access to the loading provider and we can access the state and the method using the provider. To execute the method, we use context.read method. Now we have completed refactoring the existing code to use provider. Let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, it works as expected. But the code now, better in performance and easier to scale and maintain. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.